Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. Um, this one's been out for a while, uh, but it's just become so heavily recommended by so many people that I had to check it out. And I figured why not uh, record my impressions of it because it's not, it's not my general foray. I mean, like, you know, it's not what I tend to cover on this channel. I know I covered a huge range of different things, but to be honest, I've tend to stay away from, um, I guess the, the mainstay um roguelikes uh, or action roguelites um for a couple of reasons i tend to stay the turn-based stuff but uh, i figured i'd give this a go and and see what what i think of it and uh, if you're interested in that then you you're in the right place i suppose so let's check it out revita um i i gotta say i already like the style of it but um yeah this is a like a, a, a i think a side-scrolling platformer roguelite and it is, um, it's been like glowed about. I've seen a lot of people enjoying it. Okay, so we've got, um, we can, we can aim. It's interesting how they've done that. I, I feel like it's not, okay, so you can move and aim. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Now, am I going to have to do that and jump at the same time? How does one jump? Oh, okay, interesting. Left uh, L1. That's an interesting way of doing that, and I I, I, I I get it, because you're gonna want to be aiming while you move. So the fact that jump is not something like a face button, and I am using a, a PS4 controller here. We'll see uh, what I think of this. I, I have been kind of very down on action roguelites lately. Um, it's, it's been, I don't know, a little bit disappointing. I like a lot, even some of the mainstay ones that people really like, um, like enter the gungeon, even Isaac, I've been kind of turned away from recently. I just, uh, I find that there's a trend that I'm not really super enjoying, um, to make these games as difficult as possible. And I, I really just don't care for it. I, you know, I, at a certain point, I think a game becomes too inaccessible um and oh i see okay uh like you know you can call it a skill issue if you want but either way the issue you know means i can't enjoy the game so i i do think at a certain point it's worth mentioning that it, the game just becomes difficult enough that it's no longer accessible um i think that that def definitely came uh became true for games like isaac definitely was true for me for Splunky 2. I think Splunky 2 is like just horrendously difficult over the line. Um, but uh, we'll see. Revita. I mean, so far, so I mean, I know I understand this is a tutorial, so we're not really seeing anything um, particularly challenging here. We're just uh, learning the ropes. We can shoot the bird. Did I shoot the bird? I didn't really mean to shoot the bird. Offer hearts. Oh, we've got like a, a, a devil table here. Um, increase your speed. 20%. Increase the number of bullets you shoot, but lowers damage and fire rate. I'm not usually a fan of like cuts both ways powers uh, power ups like that. Increase your damage for three hearts. Sure, let's just play it really, really dangerous. Increase your damage. By 20%. I like I like to be a glass cannon occasionally. I, I'm sure I'm gonna like absolutely humble myself here by saying games are too difficult, and then I go ahead and take like throw away all of my health. Ooh. I'm not sure um what I'm supposed to be afraid of. Ooh, gain souls by defeating enemies. Once a bar segment is filled, focus to heal. Okay. Interesting. Oh, cool. So I managed, but it doesn't heal you. Uh, it doesn't heal a full heart. It only heals one, like half a heart. Do and I don't think I can lose half a heart, can I? Oh, I've been healed to full health. Clearly, I made the the correct decision. So what is this? Oh, you can shoot lamps. Focus at full HP to to increase your uh, max HP. Okay. Okay, so I need to fill that up with three max bars in order to fill up our, our, our HP. I like, uh, I really like the style of this so far. It, it feels different. 
I am uh, I am kind of struggling in my head to f to try and remember which buttons I'm supposed to be pressing for uh, for jumping, but uh, that's you know I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll get used to that, and then I'll wish every game used uh, L1 to jump. So what do we got here? You shouldn't have come, little one. Every time you die and wake up on that metro, there's a little less of you and a little more of me. I was uh, warned at the beginning of this game that there are uh, some pretty heavy content warnings here. Um, themes of like, you know, suicide and mental anguish and stuff like that drama. So um, I should have mentioned that right away, but I didn't. Um, but I am mentioning it now in case this comes up uh, soon. Distressing, isn't it? Who is this? Oh, we don't get to know. His name is is just a jumble. Okay, we can we can wall jump to kind of avoid some of his shots. Okay, we've taken some damage. I don't really have a lot of room to move around right now because he's like right in my grill. Oh my god. Okay, that was close. So he's got a second phase. Oh, ow. What? What? I couldn't move. I couldn't move. <laughs> what? I have no idea what happened there. I feel like I was doing really well. Maybe I'm supposed to die there. I don't know. How do you feel about um, scripted deaths? Uh, John Ravita is very sad. Okay. So we have left the subway train. Memoria Station? Memoria Station? Probably a better way of saying that. Call the Metro. Set Seed. Oh, okay. So that's if you wanted to do seeded runs. I, I, rec I remember doing seeded runs with friends at one point in my life. Welcome, child. It has been a long time since I've set eyes on a new traveler, and I fear I'm unexpectedly out of practice. Yes, yes, forgive me. This is a memoria station, your first stop on the way to the clock tower, and I am its caretaker. As a younger man, I'd have tried to continue, convince you to abandon your journey, but we both know you'd only ignore me. Instead, uh, here, take this ticket. You can ride the metro freely with it. I'm not sure there's anything left to say. Okay. So where are we going? Are we going back on the train? This is something we can't do anything with yet. Oh, we can... Okay, we're calling the metro then. Start the game by getting on a train. Gazing Grove. Oh, we got kind of like a, a foresty vibe just immediately. That's really cool. I, I love the what, what like how they're playing with the foreground there. I kind of hope it doesn't become too distracting, but I, I really am appreciating it now. Um, this uh, this seems pretty cool so far. It's something I haven't seen a thousand times before. You know, I know there's a oh, was it called Neon something? Neon, uh, there was a game like this that was trying to be, it, it wasn't trying to be, it was basically literally Binding of Isaac, but side-scrolling. Um, down to like, you know, kind of carbon copying some of the, the power-ups. I didn't hate it. Uh, I actually kind of liked it and, and like, I was able to beat it so that, you know, told me like, hey, at least this game isn't like impossibly difficult. But at the same time, it did it did feel like I'd played that game already. 
I, I kind of wish someone like I, I feel like there's got to be a really um, good like crowd or audience for easy roguelikes. How come we're not doing those yet? I know that someone's going to hit me with like, well, there's plenty of easy roguelikes, but then they're going to list a bunch of like actually very difficult roguelikes and inaccessible games. What is this? Hold on. Let's uh, clear the floor before we do this. Oh, I, I guess I was supposed to kill that guy before he ditched. Shield, additional protection from enemy damage. Okay, and what is this? Upgrade one relic at the blacksmith for free. Nice. I clearly understand what that means. I suppose I should be um, trying to recover my health. See, it takes one bar to recover your health, and I, I have done so now. So here is our, this is, we have to offer health in order to do this. More, deal more damage to enemies that are at full health. I actually don't dislike that. That's kind of nice. Only half a heart for that. Your bullets home towards enemies. Increases fire rate and accuracy, but decreases damage. No, I like, I like homing towards uh, enemies. That seems really good. Wow, that's a d very violent way to give me a power up. The statue just explodes. I, uh, you know, I do, I, I appreciate, like, Edmund's attempt at making, like, Bejeweled, but a roguelike. Um, I actually kind of really liked Ent uh, Legend of Bumbo, but I also found that that game was too difficult, too, at times. So it gets, um, it's, it's really funny. I feel like there's this weird, um, assumption that roguelikes have to be very, very difficult. Otherwise, you know, why, why play them? I appreciate like desktop dungeons does a good job of making a game that's pretty accessible and it becomes harder but it's not like ridiculously difficult right away but then uh, maybe I'm just like not terrible at that game so how, I, I guess maybe I'm, I'm not allowed to say what is or what is not difficult it's pretty subjective I suppose a weirdly shaped key someone in the station might be looking for it okay I gotta say I am enjoying this so far I, I do find that the um room layouts are kind of like very stock standard like it's it's kind of funny to me like um you know rogue um uh, binding of isaac and gungeon they opted for this kind of like top down dungeon format and then you can like move from room to room but this game so far it's just like you finish a room and then you go back into the door you came in and there's not actually like a dungeon layout increase your range increase your damage multiplier by five all right we'll take that sure we'll take both of these why not and i'll use a bar to recover so we're at, up at three health you stop to browse my wares yay we have relics and pickups and all sorts of fun things you should buy buy them all well i did i hope you're happy because i did do that Yeah, that's that homing's pretty good so far. Um, we have a key. I'm still I'm still trying to get over the fact that it's a left um, bumper to to jump. Unlock. So we spent a key to in order to open a chest that that also took some health. Increase the damage of your bullets by a lot, but damage increases the longer your bullets exist. Oh, decreases the longer your bullets exist. Okay. So that's an interesting... So we have to be very close to our enemies in order to do a lot of damage. That's an interesting way of doing that. Okay. I can get, I can get into that. I like the music a lot in this game. It's, it's pretty chill. Um, can we break these? Oh, we can. That's like extra stuff. I, I should have been breaking those crystals all along. I would have been getting more um, soul points or whatever. Ah, oh, there were, there were spikes there and I did not notice that. 
Were they were they there right away? Was that something I, was, I should have uh, been able to notice? Okay. Well, we should be able to um, heal for one and a half hearts. And a couple more rooms like that, and I should be able to get back to full health and then maybe increase our max HP. I do like this uh, system of, like, healing. That's actually kind of refreshing to see in a game, is, like, a consistent way of, of getting your health back instead of, like, a random or RNG-based one. It's like, uh, the, the better you do, actually, the more health you're gonna do, you're gonna have. Um, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got a boss. Denial. All-seeing guardian of something. I missed it. So we want to be as close as we can to the boss because we'll do a lot more damage. I feel... I don't know why, what it is. Maybe, you know, it's just the fact that it's a side-scroller, but I feel like I should have a double jump. Ouch. So they're in their second phase. Okay, so we've got we've got a pattern that we can we can definitely deal with Get as close as we can and we'll do as much damage as we can Oh, okay Don't get too close though. I suppose get really close, but not too close. Oh That was bad timing That's fine. I seem to only take half a heart of damage when I take damage Denial obliterated we got opens locked gates okay so we got some stuff and i can recover half of my heart i guess um half a heart is still health recovered i thought that it was like one of those dealies where you need to get a full heart in order for the health recovery to count this game seems very forgiving and you know what that's a breath of fresh air it really is um is that it we we did it I don't believe that. We must be heading to the next area. Forest Dweller. Oh, hello. There's a, there's a very strange glitchy lad sitting on the chair. Can we... We can shoot in here. Not sure, are we like waiting? I like how when we shoot, we, we have like little spent ca uh, casings. Um, I'm not sure what we're trying to do here. Oh, what? We have a dodge? I didn't even realize that. Oh, I'm I'm going to the right side here. Okay. Uh, all right. We've got uh, um, what's his name? Shoot. Astora. All I can ever remember is Astora. <laughs> I can't remember anything else. Hey, kid. I'm the blacksmith. Nice to meet you. If you have any relics that need upgrading, it won't be free. But I'm your guy. Um, we could upgrade homing missile. I actually kind of like the idea of that. Yeah, let's upgrade homing missile. So we make the, uh, we increase the effectiveness of it. Oh, that's nice. Um, so we got the first one for free. We can do it again for the cost of one heart. So now it's strong. Oh, that's a permanent health, uh, health that we just lost though. Still not terrible. Um, are we moving on? Okay. Yeah, we, we, we can continue moving right. There we go. I was very confused there, I won't lie. Fungated funnels. What do we have here? I'm not the type to beg, so can we forgo the damsel in distress routine? If you want me to put my big brain to work for your cause, I'm going to need you to find me a few things first. Like what? I need Denial's Memento. Three materials and 50 soul coins. Do you have that on you? I don't know. Yes, sure. You understand that half credit is still a failing grade, right? 
I need everything on that parts list. Everything. Um, I wonder if she is just going to be opening up a shortcut because I, I, I honestly never buy those because I don't care. In, in roguelikes like these, um, it's generally always a good idea to play the whole game in one sitting because that's how you get power-ups and stuff. Ah. So you can do a dodge in the air. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed that that wasn't in the tutorial, or if it was, I completely missed it. Increase your damage multiplier by five. So I guess that's, uh, that counts as a double jump in a way. Oh god, there was I, I actually did see the the traps, the the spikes on the ground, but I saw it just a moment too too late. Okay, let's recover our, our health. I if I was doing better, I could be gaining way more like actual HP. We've got a locked door. No. Oh, okay. I am slowly becoming better at this maybe. I will say it's kind of nice um, becoming better at a game while you're playing it instead of on your like 50th run. Okay, this is going to take a, a full heart. What do we got? Makes you immune to enemy knockback water and gives one shield. Corrupted. Curse plus one. Souls disappear quicker. So when you get a cursed item, you only find out what the curse is after you pick it up. That's interesting. That is definitely going to lead me to picking them up more um, readily. Increase your speed. So this one, we can only offer one health. And if we do that then we'll be at half a heart, so we, we're going to have to be very careful. I, you see, I notice I did it, like, right away. I didn't even wait. If we can do the next room without taking any damage, then I'll be able to recover half a health, and we'll, we won't be in such a dangerous spot. Um, okay, that was poison on the left side there. I almost died, I think. What is this? Increase your damage multiplier by 5%. Nice. All right. We're going to get back to scratch here. Can we destroy these mushrooms? No. I think that poison almost killed me. But still, we're in this. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think it's a good idea not to just, like, run into the room because you don't know where they're going to spawn. I might like to see a, a, a maybe a better indication of where something is going to spawn that was one thing i did appreciate about gungeon is that you can tell very very easily where enemies were going to spawn i i know that there's an indication here i'm just like i i feel like it's maybe a little bit too quick ah oh no we've got isaac-esque grubs and we took some damage Okay, those guys, their charge is really hard to notice. Dang. Okay, well, we took we took damage. Um, I don't know if I should be opening this, because this is just going to ask me to give up more health, right? Yeah. Opens locked gates. Uh, yeah, I really can't afford to do any of this. Bye-bye. Buy? What is this? Increase the damage when low uh, when low on HP. If I had uh, one and a half hearts, I would actually take that, but I can't because I I only have one heart. Okay, so good to know that I I probably shouldn't spend keys um unless I know for sure like I have the health to spare because it seems like every locked door has led me to something that asks me for health.
I'm not able to do as much damage as I'm capable of because I have to I'm, I'm trying to kill things from far away Okay, this one actually didn't ask me for a locked key Hey, look friends another lost soul Are you here to rescue us to save us from our fate? I don't think I am actually We are weak. This is all of the tower has left of us Will you accept our plea and restore us? Are you willing to listen to the soul's plea and restore them to their former self? Sure. Thanks a bunch for the save. We are known as the Tinkerer. We usually take care of repairs around the station. Meet us there if you want to t uh, talk some more. Okay. I thought I was going to have to give something up, but I totally didn't have to. Um, I'm gonna recover some health before we get started here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this floor because it, that poison's gonna have us in a bad way. Okay, well luckily there was only the one the one lad. Easy floor. Some of these floors are uh, kind of ridiculously easy and then some of them are, are very difficult, but you know Still still passable. So I see that trap on the right side there. Oh God, okay, that was dangerous. I, I just had to jump into it, didn't I? Oh, that sucked. Gives you two shields. Okay, so we have two shields now. Um, not, I didn't even know if we had one shield before. I guess I've been taking a damage um, that I haven't noticed. Um, I, I don't feel very good about our odds here, to be honest. Anger. Infested Keeper of Rage. I was uh, really trying to get my distance there, but it turns out distance was actually not what we wanted. Okay, um, I really need to get rid of that guy on the oh god on the left side there I uh, I am not recognizing the patterns just yet We're almost on our second phase I just have to not take damage ever, and I'll be good. The, at least the patterns for, the, for bosses are easy to kind of um, parse out. Like, you can actually figure them out while you're fighting them, and it's not like I have to fight this boss like four times to understand what to do. Okay, uh, yeah, I was not really feeling good about that one. I really wanted to kill that guy on the left side there, but he's gonna get to live. There we go. I actually I can't believe I did it, actually. My goodness. Amazing. Anger obliterated. Regain one uh, HP. That's really nice. And in fact, I can restore another half heart. So we're kind of almost back to square one. That was, uh, that was pretty close. So what is this? Would you like to save your run and quit to the title screen? No. Okay, I, I appreciate that that is an option. I wonder how long these runs get. Secret un uh, uncovered. So we have three glitchy lads on the left side there now. You're going to ask me for health to do this, and I don't think I want to do that. Let me get a good look at that. Um, so I don't think that we can do homing missiles anymore, or can we? Yeah, no, we can't. Uh, mug of coffee increases your speed. This only costs half a heart. Let's do that. Only costs us half a heart to increase our speed. 
Uh, increase the damage. Oh, right. I forgot that this costs, like, permanent health. I really shouldn't have done that. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> well, we increased our speed. Arid, uh, Athenium. Athenium? I'm definitely... Well, I'm probably gonna die on this, on this, uh... I don't know what to call these floors. They're not floors because each each room is a floor. Trying to trying to get close to them, but not too close, so we can do more damage. That went well, and we can recover some health. So we are, I guess, we are technically at max health now. So when I recover health, I am actually recovering my max health. I do wish I could have uh, been a bit more uh, competent to recover, you know, like increase our max health. Because it seems to me that, like, this game's major currency is health. You use health to buy everything in this game. Um, which is interesting. I kind of like that. And I do like the fact that there is a consistent way of recovering your max HP as well as your normal H HP. Again, it's not relegated to RNG, um, which is, is really nice. Oh, that was dumb. But I guess we get a um, we get a freebie each floor, freebie damage. We are almost at enough uh, enough of a charge to recover a, a, an actual health. But we're at the statue, and uh, knowing me, I'm probably gonna spend some of our HP here. Um, offer relic rarity chance for a shop purchase to be free um, Are we only offered one I thought we could go offer more mm, I'm not gonna do that I Need to conserve uh, some of my HP so that I can actually recover I figured that was they were going to explode into some kind of projectile. I saw, I saw that. I saw that. There's a, a stalactite icicle. Is it just an icicle or are icicles technically stalactites, do you think? Do stalactites have to be made of rock? I think they probably do, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I correctly, I corrected my course there. The homing is uh, working out pretty well. Whoops. We wanted to, there's a, there's a pattern to things and you can kind of recognize that and, you know, course correct. So we can actually recover. Um, we have, we have another health bar now. Fantastic. If we could get to four health, I might be comfortable uh, spending it a bit more to buy some more stuff. So what is this? It seems like I can't target them when they have that. Oh, we have a, a new enemy, which is protecting them, I think. Ugh. We, yeah, we took some actual damage. Okay, so th those guys need to be prioritized. Gotcha. I probably could have uh, won this floor without taking damage if I had known that, but that's okay. It's not not all is lost. Let's recover some more health, actually. I should really do that at the end of floors and not at the beginning, because it takes a second to do, and it also takes like you're you're basically spending your uh, you know freebie brain power, because <laughs> like you you don't have to think about anything when you're. Uh, you know, when you finish the floor, but you do have to think about dodging and shooting. I often say I don't have a lot. I have like about four megabytes of RAM in, in my head for for parsing stuff out, which is tends to be why I play a lot of turn-based games because then I can, uh, I don't need a lot of RAM. All I need is, uh, 
you know, a bit of CPU power. Someone out there is like, that's not how that works. Listen, I don't care. It's my head. I don't, I don't have to apologize. Oh, the ice on the ground is de uh, definitely a problem. You can do some fun stuff with the homing uh, shots if you if you've got cover. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, again, I'm not going to spend uh, my key to go into there because you're going to you're just going to ask me for more health and I'd like to recover some more max HP. I'm hoping to do that. Okay, what do we have here? Unlock. What do we got? This looks like another curse item. Small chests contain less loot. Um, I assume we just got cursed for opening that chest. Oh, good. And then we got a corrupted item. Chance to gain HP when defeating enemies. Chance is 2%. Wow. Well, I guess I better take it. <laughs> Destroys one relic at the end of an area and then gets removed. Okay, so it's going to destroy one of my relics. That sucks. But we have our boss and we have a pretty good amount of health bargaining. I'm assuming it's going to... Oh, God, that's a lot of... Oh, I could have dodged that easily. I, I could have dodged that easily as well, but I didn't understand what was what was happening yet. Well, we've taken damage already. Uh, uh, yep, that's this is not going well at all. Wow. Oh, God, I don't like the ice on the ground. So that is the end of that run that that boss very efficiently ended it We could do a quick restart, but I want to see um, it, Here's my concern always always is what kind of meta progression are we going to be are, are, we, are we looking at now to be fair? I think I could have probably beaten that boss if I just understood it a little bit better I don't think that that death was reliant purely on the fact that I didn't have enough power-ups <clears throat> so I, I, I get the impression that this game is probably smarter about these things than others. Let me guess, you want something. If it's help you are after, you won't find it here, but I might be willing to barter. Prove yourself more than a pest and return the keys those forsaken monsters in the tower have stolen from me. Do that and I might have something for you. Bring prison keys to the imprisoned in order to unlock new relics and even start with, uh, with up to two of them. Okay, well, there's your there's at least some meta progression. Uh, I guess for me, I um, appreciate that it's based on some form or manner of success and not um, just like how far I can get. Uh, I have to actually beat a boss in order to you know acquire some stuff, and I I can I can appreciate that. Has been the giant's fang has been unlocked and can now appear in the tower. Also, it is unlocking um, like replayability in the form of power-ups and not necessarily just like more damage. I, I will say I'm I'm a little bit leery of you can start with more power-ups because that just feels like a straight-up advantage. But then again, I beat the first few stages quite easily. I don't know. It's it's mixed bag. Work, work, work. Good to see you again kiddo do you mind talking while we work got to stay productive before that whole mess of the tower we used to repair all kinds of stuff around here now that we are back we have to make up for lost time if you have any projects that need doing we've got you covered for a price of course chain meter so what are we giving up here Soul Torch Gazing Grove. Soul Torches will now spawn in this area's offering room, giving you souls when shot. I don't know what I'm spending here. Oh, I see. I've got some new form of currency that I didn't know about. Okay. More blueprints. Okay, so we need, I guess we need blueprints. There's the exclamation points uh, on like the other things, but I, I don't know. Oh, okay, there we go. I was on the wrong screen there. Um, so we could do withered benches. We could do, but maybe maybe this lad has something that he can give me for, for that, whatever that is. Back again so soon, please forget I said anything. 
I'm sure it's all very challenging. Okay, he doesn't have anything to offer me. Oh, we've got an outdoors. Oh, this is interesting. Yo, there's water in this game? That's interesting. I don't know, uh, I don't know what's going on over there. Doesn't look like much. I feel like this is something that we'll build on later. Is that a cat? Can we pet the cat? You can pet the cat. Yo. I appreciate that it's a cat. <laughs> All right, let's, um, oh, this costs three. Dang. Okay, let's just do withered benches, I suppose. All right, well, I mean, that's going to do it. Um, so we can upgrade, like, the main area. You can sit on, though they do look quite old and run down. Okay, so we can actually spend some of our points to uh, upgrade our main area in, like, some aesthetic way. I appreciate that. Kind of like a Hades thing going on. Reaching places you probably shouldn't been able to reach 101. By shooting downwards immediately after jumping, you are able to reach heights you have previously only dreamed of reaching. Um, I'm finding that... Okay, wow. Wow, that's, that's actually really interesting. Whoa. Uh, you'd think that that would be a power-up, but that's just, like, part of the game. I wonder if there's something I can get here. Yeah. Blueprint. Someone at the station might have a use for it. Roof fencing, a small fence with a lovely heart decor at the end. I don't think there's anything else up here. Otherwise, I would maybe be able to wall jump. That's cool. I appreciate that. There's a, some, like a reward right away. Are those new blueprints you have? Neat. So what? Uh, what can? What is this here? Roof fencing. That costs four of those points that I don't have. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this. I like this, and I will probably be playing more of this, uh, of Revita in my off time. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a series. I think there's probably enough people doing series of this game that you can you can find something. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. You can let me know anyway if it's something you'd like to see me play. I don't know if it'll change much, but... Um, I can definitely see myself playing more of this. I also hear that this game's got good Steam Deck support, but um, it's funny because the game actually shows as being not supported, despite the fact that it's actually got very good controller support. Like, I'm playing this on a controller and it feels good. So I don't know. But either way, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.